we are in Palermo, the capital city of Sicily, and right now we are heading to Mondello Beach, a very beautiful beach, a must visit beach when you come to Palermo. The beach has got fine sands, blue waters, very clear and beautiful, beautiful seafood restaurants. So let's keep going and see you there. Let's get Just look at how this water is clear. This place is called Piazza di Mondello and the statue you see there is called La Sirenetta. Also, this place has got a lot of seafood restaurants as you can see and during the weekends guys, it's always crowded. I just love this old street. So we are going to that bar to have some breakfast. Hi guys, good morning from Sicily. So we came here to have some breakfast and after breakfast I want to show you inside this bar what they've got, very delicious things guys. You know when you're in Sicily it is eating, 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 eating everything guys is so <laughs> everything is very delicious when you're in sicily so i want to show you inside how it looks like it's a very beautiful bar you know in italy when you say a bar you get everything like if you want um if you want to take breakfast at the bar you can because they have meal they have everything that you want Unlike in my country, in Tanzania, when you say a bar, it's only to take alcohol. <laughs> you can't go to a bar in Tanzania and say, I want milk. You won't get it. They're going to laugh at you. <laughs> but here you get everything. Everything you get it. So let me take my breakfast and take you inside. <laughs>
The second place you must see when you visit Palermo is the Politeama Theatre, where we are now. History says that after the World War, this was the cinema, this theatre, and afterwards they wanted to make it an open theatre, which they changed and decided to cover it. It's very beautiful. I once got inside in 2019. I will show you a clip when my baby was little. It's so beautiful. If you are at Politeama Theatre and you want to make some luxury shopping, you can just move to the next street. Let me take you around. It's lunch time and I'm so hungry guys. Let's go and get something to eat. And I want to assure you something guys. When you are in Palermo, you are not supposed to worry about food. You find food everywhere. They've got street food. They've got every kind of food that you want, you will get it. And let's not forget about Sicilian gelato, the ice cream it's so delicious so let me show you around this place where we are taking our lunch today I am taking pasta al forno and my husband is taking arancina. Morning guys, today is the next day and we are heading to the sanctuary of Santa Rosaria in Monte Peregrino. Santa Rosaria is the saint of Palermo. She used to stay in the mountain for prayers. She isolated herself there only for prayers and afterwards she died. When she died, after 450 years, her bones were found and um, there was a certain pandemic in those days that was hitting the Palermo city, people of Palermo. And after a year, the bones of Santa Rosaria were found, that pandemic ended and people believed it was a miracle performed by Santa Rosaria. So we are going there to see this sanctuary. It's a very beautiful sanctuary.
this sanctuary was built inside the mountain it's so beautiful i just love the nature feeling of this sanctuary it's so peaceful a place where you can talk to god This is the holy water which falls from the mountain as you can see and when you visit here make sure you touch this water and make a cross sign if you are a religious person pray to God and maybe make a wish God is going to listen to you. visit Santa Rosalia sanctuary and go empty handed you have a place to shop and buy things to keep as a memory especially those Sicilian ceramic sculptures so let me take you around and show you these beautiful arts oh, 